In this video, I'll attempt to explain connectives from grade 11 English. Hi, I'm Sanjeev and you all are welcome to my channel. We have three concessive connectives in grade 11 English. Although, even though, in spite of despite, and however, they are called concessive connectives because they connect situation and unexpected event. So concessive, concessive connectives are those which connect situation and unexpected events. What does exactly it mean? Let's see with examples. Starting with although, at first, let's see the examples. He was sick. He went to college. He never studied. He passed in exam. Uh, you can see here the situation in first example, he was sick. He went to college. This is unexpected. Going to college when you are sick is unexpected because when you are sick, you stay at home. You don't go anywhere. Similarly, in second example, one who never studies generally fails in exam. But here we have one student who never studied, but still he passed an exam. So the second sentence, he went to college, he passed an exam. They are the example of unexpected event. And the first part, he was sick, he never studied. That is the situation. In such case, we use although. And if we use although and rewrite these sentences, then the answer is, although he was sick, he went to college. Similarly, he never studied, he passed an exam. Although he never studied, he passed an exam. So what did basically we do? We start our answer with although, that's wonderful. And thereafter, you put the situation and then you put one comma and finally you write the unexpected event. So therefore the structure of although is although plus situation followed by unexpected event. Okay, it's very simple. You start your answer with although, then put the situation. And what is that very unexpected event? You keep it at the end. That's all about although. Now next we have in spite of or despite. So let's see the first example. He was sick, he went to college. He was poor, he wore expensive clothes. Now earlier we started with although, but this time we have in spite of. And after in spite of, you can see we have changed the sentence, he was sick into his sickness. Uh, we have changed, he was poor into his poverty. It is because after in spite of or after despite, we don't use the clause. Okay, we use the noun phrase. After although we use situation in clause form, but after in spite of or after despite, we have not a clause, but a noun phrase, sickness and poverty. Sickness is the noun phrase of he was sick and poverty is the noun phrase of poor. That's what you have to do. Now, students, you might feel this noun phrase is a little bit difficult. Although using although was very simple, starting with although. But in the case of uh, noun phrase, it looks a bit confusing. If you are feeling so, you don't worry. There is a trick and the trick is you see these three words, the fact that. When you use the fact that, the fact that itself is the noun phrase. So you can start with like in the third example, in spite of or despite, and just add three words, the fact that, and thereafter copy the sentence as it is. Sentence, he was sick, he went to college, and when you write the answer, in spite of or despite the fact that he was sick, he went to college. Therefore, on the basis of reading these three examples, you know the structure. The structure is after in spite of, after despite, you put a situation and you put unexpected event. But this situation must be in the form of noun phrase. It must not be in the clause form. Or forget about noun phrase and simply this is the trick. You can say in spite of or despite the fact that and put the situation as given in the question, unexpected event, for example, the second sentence in the example is he was poor, he wore expensive clothes. 
if we have to rewrite these sentences using in spite of or despite using our trick that is using the second structure we can say in spite of or despite the fact that he was poor comma he wore expensive clothes bravo now finally the third one what about however okay take example he was honest nobody believed him in fact when people are honest okay others believe him but it did not happen in his case uh, so you can see nobody believed him he was poor he wore expensive clothes okay poor man generally does not a poor person does generally does not wear expensive clothes so when we use however then we write the answer like this proceed example he was honest however nobody believed him he was poor however he wore expensive clothes so the difference between although and however is after although we put situation but after however we put unexpected event because nobody believed him he wore expensive clothes these two sentences are the example of unexpected event so after however we always have to put unexpected event so the structure is situation then you have however after however you have unexpected event that's very very simple now with this very explanation of the basic concepts related to the concessive connective such as uh, however although in spite or despite it is the time for exercise let's see the question answers from your book here is the complete solution enjoy the solution before showing you the solution let me tell you that you can visit my website sanjeepnirola.com of which link i'll be giving in the description uh, from which you can get all the notes related to grammar uh, not only grammar you can also click the literature section and get the notes of uh, literary text uh, including summary as well as important question and answers <coughs>
I hope you enjoyed watching this. Thanks for watching.